right, here's a quick video review of the new uh, Robots in Disguise, uh, the Battle Packs. This is Optimus with Bludgeon. Uh, Bludgeon, as you can see, is now a Wrecking Ball type of thing. Uh, this is one of the Deployers uh, figures. Uh, he works with Overload, I think is the character's name. I haven't seen him. I haven't picked it up. I don't know if I'm going to get the deployers. I like his design, but I, I don't know if I'm going to buy the deployer version of him. But yeah, so we've got the discs that work with drift, the kind of torpedo missiles that work with fracture, and now we've got these ball guys that work with overload. So Bludgeon's just a little ball, and you just kind of come back here and split his shoulders if you can. Getting your fingernail in there is a little rough. But uh, yeah, so you kind of just open up open up these side panels and his little horned head comes up then flip his arms down like that and there he is he's a robot that's really all there is to him Optimus Prime however is kind of a scout class uh, figure legends or whatever they're calling them now and his truck mode is it's a for this size, it's a fair approximation of his truck mode. He's got, you know, he's got, he's got some hollowy open bits here to the way the transformation. But just as a representation of his truck mode, it's it's all right. Um, thankfully, I didn't buy it for his truck mode, but he does transform here, as you can see. And to turn him into a robot, we're just gonna unpeg the arms from the legs here. Uh, this whole canopy, you kind of lift this piece up and then flip it around behind his head and then fold that piece down and in. The arms rotate out to the sides and this whole assembly flips up and pegs in right there. I don't know why they didn't make this red, but whatever. He folds down and you unpeg the legs from each other. And there he is. Uh, his head does turn from side to side. Um, he's got swivels at the shoulder. He's got an in and out swivel at the shoulder and he's got ball joint elbows. Ball joint hips and, as you can see here, ball joint knees. So you can get a pretty decent range of posability out of him. And it's a pretty decent small class version of Optimus Prime's robot mode from Robots in Disguise. Now what's cool is, aside from just these two things, you also get, let me move this over here a little bit, some armor and weapon bits and like this clear orangey plastic for Optimus. Um, he's got the axe, and then he's got a bunch of armor plates that you can attach this to his to his head, uh, leg plate just pegs in where the arms did right here on the leg, and then the arm plates again just peg in right here on his forearm. And then he can hold his giant axe. He doesn't hold it very well, I found. Uh, this hand seems to hold it a little better, but it, it always tends to, tends to come loose. But So yeah, there's Optimus Prime all armored up, which in and of itself is pretty cool. Kind of looks like he's got Energon armor or something. But what's even cooler is you can take all this, all the armor pieces, off like that. Ah, come on. See they peg on very well, and you can attach them to the axe to make a giant kind of battle hammer. So you take these; these go uh, with the little hook piece facing forward, and plug in on either side of this lower hole right here, just like that. And uh, they peg in there, and they also you can see they kind of fit together and snap together here on the bottom. So that makes the lower half. Upper half is the same thing, but with the leg pieces, and you use the upper hole here. There's the, you use this upper hole, and there's a square tab here in the middle that this little piece right here tabs into. So you tab those in like that. They also kind of slide in behind the, uh, the upper piece. They don't actually tab together here on top. Like that, and then the, uh, the head armor piece plugs in like this, I think, yeah, flip this, flip this down around like that, and then you just plug this in on top of the back of those to hold all that together, and now he's got like a giant war hammer. I saw a sideswipe, I considered getting a sideswipe, um, 
but uh, like Sideswipe's armor didn't didn't thrill me, and like his weapon looks like grilling tongs, whereas Prime's looks like a giant hammer of wrecking. <laughs> so I had to get it. Um, one, I, I generally like a lot of Optimus Prime designs, and, and I, I do kind of dig his robot mode here on. Uh, robots in disguise, but like that giant battle hammer that doubles his armor. Like I said, the armor itself looks pretty cool on Optimus, and the hammer is really impressive. Just a giant whacking stick. <laughs> so yeah, and Bludgeon, uh, I do like Bludgeon as a character. This obviously is not the character we've come to know and love, but I like his kind of bulky armored knight look. I like the, the helmet and the grill on his face. So while it's not what I generally think of as Bludgeon, it's a pr pretty fun little dude. Uh, very basic. Um, I, like I said, I don't know that I'm going to be getting Overload, so it, you know, I don't know if I, he'll ever actually see function as a deployer. But uh, as a little bonus with Optimus, he's not bad. So yeah, I found it at Toys R Us uh, just the other day. That's where I think they've been showing up. We should be hitting retail uh, widespread fairly soon. But there it is. There is the uh, Robots in Disguise Battle Pack of Optimus Prime and Bludgeon.